During this time, when it is important to physically distance ourselves to ensure we help stop the spread of COVID-19 and help keep each other healthy, we must not forget to still stay socially connected. Elder abuse is a serious issue that affects many older adults and one of the risk factors is social isolation. When a person is isolated, they are more vulnerable because things can happen to them that no one else sees. It is often a shameful or embarrassing thing to disclose or report as many abusers are partners, adult children, or grandchildren. What can you do? Check in on neighbors, friends, and family. Start a conversation over the phone or through email. Maybe write them a letter or a postcard or leave a doorstep care package that lets them know you are there if they need. We never know how reaching out and starting a conversation can open the door. If you see something or hear something that doesn't sit right, we suggest having a sync it conversation. SNC stands for see it, name it, check it. If I see something, I want to name it with the older adult. I noticed that your son was by today and we heard him shouting and calling you names. That didn't seem very respectful. And then, check it. Are you okay? I'm here if you want to talk about it. By removing any judgment and letting them know you are there if they want to talk, you open the door to further conversation. They may or may not choose to talk the first time that you offer, but even if they don't, you plant the seeds for later when they may choose that they want to accept help. Everyone has a role to play when it comes to ending elder abuse. Create a safe and supportive community for older adults in your area by being willing to reach out and grow the conversation. Now is the time to act.